finally, Bola Ahmed Tunumbu has been sworn in. He is no longer going to be referred to as president-elect. He is the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Now, there are people who say God told them, God spoke to them. I don't know if they saw a vision. I don't know if God spoke to them. I mean, like their hearers, they heard it loud and clear. I don't know how it happened. They say God called them and that he said to them specifically, some have titles such as pastors, prophets. Some even have um, extra added to the prophet or prophetess. They are major prophet, senior major prophet. Some of them are senior major doctor prophet. All of this is to let us know that they are professionals in what they do and that they have risen higher up in the realms of the spirit. They say they can get information from the thrones of grace. They say God tells them whatever it is that he wants to do. Now, did they get it wrong? Did they speak carnally? Did they speak out of the abundance of their heart? What really happened? They said, Bola Me Tunumbu will not win the election. Some said the election will not even occur at all. Some said that Bola Metunumbu will be arrested on that day. And what is the day that we've all been waiting for? 29th May 2023. Or is there going to be any second inauguration? Swearing in? Well, they will have to ask, answer this question. Why was Bola Metunumbu not arrested by the military? According to what they said, God told them. We do not know what spirit tells this one and tells this one the other. All of them claim that God is speaking to them. I don't know which God is speaking to them. They said that uh, Peter Obi will also be arrested by the DSS and that we will be having interim government, Vice President, Pastor, Professor Yemi Osibanjo will be the one that will take charge of this interim government. And they said, maybe he will hand over to Peter Obi. And they said he might want to hand over to Peter Obi because he will not want to be in the bad side of Bola Metinubu. And I'm like, seriously? Yemi Osibaijo is already on the bad side of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Let us call it spade a spade. Bola Metinubu, not like head of state, military general, president, former Obasanjo, Bola Metunubu appears to be a man who maybe might want to forgive at times, but then he is a man who is intelligent and smart. Well, is he going to forgive Yemi Osibanjo for what happened? I don't know. Some might say, what did Yemi Osibanjo do? Well, I should ask you a question. Help someone, work with someone, be a friend of someone, and somehow through you, the person ascends to a position that he or she has never thought of or imagined. Let the person ascend to that position, and the person knows what is involved in this ascension. Then one day, if you now want to pursue the same, let that person be one of the people who will stand against you. Then you will understand what Yemi Sibanjo and Bola Metunubu have between them. I do not want to proceed much on that. It is left for everyone. You have your own opinion. Now, that all of these prophecies, since none of them are coming to pass or have come to pass, unless something happens this night, I mean before 30th of May. Unless something happens, Bola Metunubu remains the Federal Republic of Nigeria president. Well, I am sure many of them will begin to come up with new visions. You know, they are not shy. They are not, they, they don't, those guys, they've thrown shame out. I'm not saying God does not speak to people. No, don't get me wrong. Neither am I saying that when you see in the realms of the spirit, it doesn't mean that other people cannot take action against what you have seen or towards what you have seen or for what you have seen.
could be a positive or a negative thing that you saw. People can take action against it. Doesn't mean what somebody sees is final. But these people make it clear. They say, this is what God said. This is what is going to happen. Is it the ones that say election will not occur? Election? Well, you know the result. Paul Ametunuba has been sworn in. Is it the ones that said they will be arrested? Well, we didn't see any gunshot apart from the parade, the artillery, the vision of the Nigerian army. Did we see any drama played out during the inauguration? Embarrassment, disgrace? No. Everything went smoothly. Mr. President X, Buhari, moved back to Daura immediately after hand over yes 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 everything went smoothly as smooth as you can ever think and over of power went smoothly so for those who heard from their prophet pastors bishop archbishop reverend pastor evangelist drop your comment what do you think about this do you think your pastor prophet your seer major one prophesy prophesy go deeper do you think they saw anything shallow not to talk of deep did you did god really speak to them do you think god spoke to them at all or they are simply speaking out of the abundance of their mouth or their heart what exactly is it well i'm sure you see and you saw and you are going to see now i am waiting because i believe that the next step most of them will take is to say I see in the realms of the spirit. Then he will speak some tongues and say, God showed me. God showed me. That's why I say some of them are not even ashamed. God showed me that Bola Metunumbu will not finish the first step. They might start slowly by saying Bola Metunumbu will be sick. Same way they say Buari will die. Someone else will take over. Number two will become number one. Buari has gone to Daurao. Number two did not become number one. He said, they saw it in the realm of the spirit. That Bola met Tunumbu after six months, after one year, he will be sick. Particularly if they observe some of those trips that your political office holders do take. Not because they cannot create a functional or functioning hospital in Nigeria. They are afraid. Everybody is afraid of everybody. Everyone is afraid of everybody. They've created a system where no one is liable. No one is liable for anything. They've created a system where integrity is zero. They themselves are afraid because they are not sure if one doctor can be paid millions by certain opposition to inject the president. That does not mean this cannot happen abroad, but then they know that the system abroad comes with accountability. Which doctor attended to him? Investigation will be done. Everything will be done. Post-mortem, this and that. Investigations will be done. Forensic analysis will be done. But in Nigeria, your president might go to one of those specialist hospitals and that one will be giving money that will sort out his uh, generation unborn just to do something so that number two can become number one. So they themselves are afraid. We live in a country, we live in a culture that is so wicked that nobody trusts nobody. So don't think those presidents cannot build hospitals. No, they can. At least for the masses. Let them do something. They can, but they themselves cannot put themselves there. Even the clinic in Asso Rock where millions and billions of Naira are marked every year. Your president will not go there. No. It is for the ordinary people. For them, they prefer to go to a specialist hospital somewhere abroad. Somewhere, somewhere that they trust. A doctor, hospital that they trust, that has been working on them, that knows their fans. Someone that will not just bust out their medical rec records to the public. That is the kind of place they will go. They are not going to trust any of those people. No. They are not going to trust. So we have a long way to go. So maybe they will begin to come up with these their prophecies when Mr. President begins to travel like the previous. Hopefully, hope he won't do that. Well... Maybe soon you will have constant electricity because according to him, he wanted to do this in Lagos State. Let us see if this will happen. Good. Now to those prophets and prophets or prophetess, seers, bishop, archbishop, evangelist, doctor, senior, major prophet, we don't know what next you will be coming up with that has been revealed to you. Maybe number two 
will become number one. Maybe someone wants to poison your president. I don't know. We are waiting for them. But we are giving these examples ahead because it is clear for everyone to see that Bola Metunumbu has been inaugurated, sworn in, and is the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Right now, is relaxing in Aso Villa. Yes, maybe he will be in a different quarter somewhere, maybe a place arranged for him to stay with his wife whilst they do some renovation or cleaning or cleansing of the villa. Yes, of the villa. Well, let us see what will happen. It is less than 24 hours. Let us see the end of Bola Metunumbu in Nigeria. What are your thoughts? Like and share. Subscribe to this channel. See you in the next update.